you guys. How y'all doing today? So, welcome to finally episode 10 of my enduro riding series uh, lessons. So this one I've been waiting for for a while and today we're going to get into how to do wheelies. Um, I think the first video, it's probably going to be a couple parts because there's a whole bunch of different wheelies and to break them all down in a short video would, it would take a while. So I think I'll go over some of the points on what I like to do for slow wheelies and hopefully that'll help a few of you guys out. So yeah, let's get started. So I think the first tip I want to make, like the first point I want to make with you guys is like when you're trying to initiate, here let's go out in the middle of this field. That's a, for probably the first thing I would say is find a nice field or somewhere's reasonably flat. Just uh, the first thing I would focus on you guys is I wouldn't worry about carrying the wheelie. You know, you don't go out and try and be Graham Jarvis on the first, when it's your first time le learning these because Let's face it, we're not going to be Graham Jarvis. But anyways, my point is finding the balance point is probably the trickiest part of the wheelie. So, like what I'll do is I'll read the terrain and I can see over there it looks nice and level on the other side of that rise. So I'll initiate my wheelie right on that rise. And I got my clutch in and before I get to that rise, I'm already got my foot on the rear brake pretty hard. And then simply tug on the bars when you dump the clutch. But as soon as it comes up, you gotta be on that clutch to keep it from going over backwards. So try and listen to the throttle here. See now, so yeah, so then it's basically just ride the rear brake and I'm riding it pretty hard and then just let the clutch out and keep your RPMs up like you kind of got a balance between the clutch and the throttle let me see if I can do that wheelie and I'll try and kind of look at the handlebars so you can kind of see what I'm doing this is a hard video to make because it's hard to capture what I'm doing so one finger on my clutch now I got the wheelie going I'm riding the rear brake. I'm gonna get in off the road here. Okay, let's give this another go. I got the camera I'm trying to catch my brake foot. That's probably easier said than done. Okay, so my foot's already over the rear brake and it's and I'm starting to drag it right now. Okay, clutch is all the way, you know, just keep yourself very slow momentum. Pick where you want to be. Give it a slight tug. See, and up she comes, just like that. It's pretty uh it's really not a lot to it. I don't know. I got, I'm using one finger. So us European guys with the one finger, you know, the hydraulic clutches are pretty easy. Let's give that another try here. So remember what I said, we're trying to focus on finding your balance point. Don't worry about carrying it for a long ways. That'll come later. So I see I'm just balancing between the clutch and the throttle. I should probably make a couple points about slow wheelies you guys is you don't really you probably hear in motocross and you know enduro is the attack position that's kind of with your elbows up and you're leaning forward you're kind of ready for what's to come but that doesn't really apply to slow wheelies you kind of want to take the opposite approach 
sit back as far as you can on the seat, relax, and you know, it's kind of like doing logs or rocks even, you know, and obstacles is you just take it calm and relax and think about what you're doing. And don't go for long sessions either. Don't spend all day doing it because your clutch hand is just gonna get tired. Or at least mine does anyways after I do it for a long, long time. And then you'll start to make mistakes. So I would suggest kind of warming up to it. You know, maybe practice for 10 minutes one day and then the next day practice for 20 minutes or even half an hour, whatever you feel comfortable. I would do it at the beginning of your rides too because you're usually a little tired by the end of the day or, you know, and I would do it with a couple buddies or, you know, don't try and show off to people and show them that you know how to do it because that usually goes sideways on you. And it does for me anyway. So yeah, I hope that helps some of you guys out. Drop some comments below. I'll probably do more parts to this video and give me some ideas or what you guys want to know and I might do another video covering the same topic. So, right on. Basically it in a nutshell you guys like really all I'm doing is sliding my butt all the way back on the seat and I'm making sure I can get to my rear brake comfortably actually that's something I'll show you as well I like to raise my brake pedal about an inch above well not quite an inch I guess but probably close to it above the you know if you hang a ruler across the foot peg if you go back to my very first I think it's my intro or episode one the very first video of the enduro lesson series, I do a bit of a walk around of the bike and show you how I set it up for me. So check that out and that'll exp explain my brake pedal. I like to have it quite a bit higher than a normal guy would. That's just because when you're at the back of the seat, for me it's, you know, our boots are pretty stiff. So pushing the pedal, to control the pedal is kind of tricky when you got motocross boots on. So that's what I do for that. And yeah, slide your butt to the back of the seat, cover in the rear brake with your foot. Clutch, I'm lucky because mine's hydraulic, so it's easy to run with one finger. And then use your throttle, and then you just got to learn simultaneously how to use those three things. It, you know, it's kind of similar to hopping the logs in that, how you're controlling, before the log, you're controlling your brake, rear brake, to get your balance and to get set up. And then you let the clutch and throttle out to get over the obstacle. Check out the episode 9 I just did. I talk about that a little bit there. And that kind of explains. It's kind of the same idea to get the front tire in the air. That's how you kind of control it. Only you're giving it a little tug on the bars while you're sitting down. So, yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. Well, that's going to do it for this video, you guys. I hope some of those tips uh, help you guys out. Uh, this video was meant to help you learn to initiate the slow wheelie. Because that's kind of the hardest part about it. Once you find your balance point, you can kind of just go with it. But, so yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, definitely drop some comments below and hit the like button and definitely hit the subscribe button. That way you get your notifications when I put new videos out. And check out the uh, description below. It's the little arrow in the picture here. That's got all my social media and, and Patreons there. If you wanna chip in a dollar or so and that all goes towards the YouTube channel anyway, so. Uh, there's probably going to be other parts to this wheelie video as well, so I appreciate you guys all watching, and I will see you on the next one.